Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving the lake? Would you like some tips, tricks, and other information to make your experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, Kevin and Liz here at Dive Site The Lake on the southern end of Bonaire. It's a phenomenal dive site, part of the double reef system, and you're just going to love it. We're going to tell you all about it in this video, give you some good tips and tricks about the lake. But first, if you're new to our channel, my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny, tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We have a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos on the different shore dive sites here on Bon Air. In these videos, we cover everything you need to know to have a successful dive. We'll tell you the best place to enter the water, the best place to exit the water. We'll give you an overview of the stuff outside of the water, some navigational tips, and a lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community, so please subscribe to our channel. Make sure also that you hit that notification bell so you'll be made aware of when we have new content for you to enjoy. But right now, it's all about the lake. This is a phenomenal dive site. It's actually, in my opinion, the first southern dive site the way I dive the island. It's going to be the first marked dive site, so there is a yellow rock. This will be the first one you get to as soon as all the houses stop um, after you leave the Bellnam area. And so it's literally right up against the final house you find driving south through Bellnam. And this is a phenomenal dive site. It's part of the double reef system, which is one of the reasons I truly love this site. I love the double reef. Uh, you've got the inner reef, the outer reef, and for the lake, you have a little added extra if you decide to dive south. So there are really three ways to dive this site. One is the outer reef, one is the inner reef, the third, or really four ways. The third is to dive south to where these coral bridges start to bridge the gap between the inner and outer reef. And that's a great place to dive, to spend some bottom time looking at everything up and over the hard straw coral formations. You're really gonna love it there. The other fourth way to dive this is if you plan on diving the wreck, the Hilma Hooker, dive it from the lake or dive it from Angel City. It's easily reached from either of these dive sites going south from the lake or north from Angel City. There's nothing like having that huge wreck automatically appear in front of you in the middle of that sand channel. So keep that in mind when you're diving these sites. So what are you gonna see here at the lake? Why should you dive this site? You're gonna see a lot of great things. You'll see some good hard coral formations, especially on the double reef, the second reef, the star coral mountainous formations. You're gonna see a lot of great soft coral, some good gorgonians, some good sponges, a really good site. You're gonna get all the typical marine life you enjoy here on Bonaire. The parrotfish, everything you're used to seeing. It's a phenomenal site. This is actually a very good place to spot eagle rays because of its location on the island. There's a bend in the island where this, right before this site is. So a great place to see rays. I know Liz loves it here. What is, what is it you like so much about the lake? I do like the double reef system a lot, especially if you're looking at the sandy bottom in between the two reefs. That's where you can see a bunch of garden eels. Um, you can also see if that's where you're gonna see a ray, that's usually where, you're, where you will see a ray. Um, I also like the staghorn coral. There's a bunch of staghorn coral in the shallows. There's just a huge amount of it and some good marine life around there and it looks really cool. So that's what I like about this site. Once again, folks, it's a beautiful site. You're going to love it. So right now, let's take a look at everything outside the water. Okay, folks, here's a general overview of the site. You can see the entry from the road right there. Plenty of area to park, either to the left of that or to the right. You can see Liz gearing up right over there to show us how to get in the water. But once again, this site is the first site right at the end of the houses after you've left uh, the area called Bellingham driving south. You can see your typical iron shore here uh, for Bon Air. So nothing too much you need to worry about on the entry here. There are some ledges we're gonna show you in a second, but pretty easy to navigate. You can see where we parked and Liz is gonna come walk down over this. You do have a step up here to this coral area. I recommend you take a look at this prior to actually entering the water, but wear your dive boots. This is not the best terrain for flip-flops. We're walking up to the shore here a little bit. 
and you can see depending on the time of day you might have to walk through a little water you can see a few stones here and holes you need to watch out for to get out to this kind of substrate area but it's really not bad not bad at all to get in here water here liz is going to show you in just a second uh, we're going to have her use her walking stick um, to help her balance and i recommend you do the same Okay, the best place to enter the lake is going to be between these two big boulder formations. You can see Liz heading there right now to the shore and she's going to show us how to get in. We find this is the best place to get in. Uh, not much to worry about here walking out. A pretty even surface, uh, but there are some holes, so just look down. Be careful. Liz has her walking stick to help balance, but you get to this substrate type area and pretty easy, almost level slope. But there are some holes and rocks you need to worry about. There is a step down though. It's not the worst step down ever. Liz is going to use a stick to guide herself. Step right down in. That's all there is to it. Super easy entry, folks. She's going to turn around and come back out to show you how easy it is to get out. But we surface swim out uh, to the drop off, and you can see the mooring buoy down south. We don't. There's no need to swim down that way. Just head straight on out, and you'll be just fine. We surface swim out to the to the dark water at the drop off, descend and finish our dive. But you can see Liz getting out here and how super easy it is to get out. And just reverse the process here. Super easy to get out. Uh, once you reach the drop off and descend, find a good landmark, take a good compass heading before you descend so you can then get right back up to where you got in. So folks, hope you found that helpful. That's just about gonna do it, but what do you think? Was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you thought so. What was most helpful? Or maybe you've been to Bonaire and you've dived the lake before. What comments or what tips and tricks do you have for your fellow divers? But anyway, guys, that's just about gonna do it for me. Um, I'm gonna gear up and get in, and Liz and I will see you at the next dive cycle.